hello, welcome to Leap Taken. Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft-related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And I want to share a witchy shopping haul. So I got all the bags lined up, and I went to all the uh, favorite stores. <laughs> Let me get the truth from poking me. I went to all my favorite stores, um, and this was the economical <laughs> haul. So we're going to start with the Dollar Tree. So this is a Monopoly uh, game board. It's um, from color form. So it's basically um, you put stickers and stuff on here. So let me tell you, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar twenty-five, I guess. Um, I'm not going to use this to play Monopoly. I'm going to use this uh, to enchant it and to work on some <laughs> manifesting and some spells. So I'm, I'm going to turn it into essentially a spell board. So more on that. Ah, my coven. I love my coven. My coven sister told me about this and I immediately went to Dollar Tree and got that. On that same note, I'm going to bring back an old craft. So I'm going to make some um, new charms. So um, stay tuned for that project because I plan on like painting them. I'm going to put symbols on here and I'm going to use these for casting. Um, for divination. So this is coming. I'm very excited about this project because I I know what I want. Then um, these cute little glass bottles, the dollar, they have this in like a clear, um, another color as well. So I bought these before and I have other colors. So these are great for like potions and um, if you want to do like sort of like a jar type spell. Um, you can do this. Now, I work with a water uh, goddess, and I use some for her, so I'm going to do something for this one as well. I think I'm going to actually use this for, like, um, I don't know, some sort of potion. I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, some sort of love, self-love, attraction, but the, it, I'm thinking we're in that season. We're coming up on that season, so I can't help but think about this sort of stuff, and also I'm being heavily influenced by the stores. Speaking of being heavily influenced, this is the random part. Dollar Tree, aren't these cute socks? So I am like, when I, I like to wear like my um, jeans, my pants kind of hot. I like the height, but it's um, where your ankle's showing. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that style. Anyway, so that we can see my socks. <laughs> um, and from a planning part i've been wanting to get and i had this before and i couldn't remember what i did with it this is cover up so sometimes when i'm planning i want to get rid of lines um and double-sided tape for for that stuff too and also from like my grimoire so that's perfect so that's dollar tree um then i went to five below and this is more random i'm a witch wearing it so that makes it witchy but isn't this this is just this was 555 cowgirl era it's just a plain like sweatshirt but like it's just it's, it feels actually pretty soft and comfortable so and then because i am very much me the witch i got this and i got this this is a large let me take that off i just i love i'm in my t-shirt era like i just i love this i like this so much so this is me. <laughs> um, and because I'm also me, I got this at Five Below. <laughs> and it says, uh, Every Shade Slays. A little too cutesy, but I like the um, pictures, uh, the girls on there. So that's cute. And then I just got like stuff you probably don't care about, like for my car. <laughs> I need another phone thing. But these stickers. This I care about, <laughs> the Forest Fairies and Fungi Sticker Collection. So this is going to be so cool for the purposes of, like, my planning and also for, like, any of my grimoires that I want to update. I can use some of these images. The mushrooms, <laughs> very cottage core, very on trend for this cottage witch. I love stuff like that. So just the wild... Fauna, flora, and fauna. Anyway, so, yeah. And I was already thinking how I'll probably take, like, some of the imagery. <laughs> and I'm going to use it 
in one of my grimoires because I'm already like enchanted with some of the stuff I'm seeing. So this was at five below, but these are stickers. So there's that. Um, ah, for the purposes of some glamour magic, <laughs> I did um, get this particular shade. This is just like top coat polish, but um, this particular pink. Pink is already my power color. I've expressed this before, so please understand. When I say power color, I mean power color. Speaking of power and colors and makeup and all that sort of stuff. So um, on my makeup vanity, I realized I need, it comes with the little things to put stuff in, but I've outlined that. So we're gonna, <laughs> I just, and it's clear, so it won't, I figure I kind of put this in the middle. It's not gonna take up too much space. I'm either going to use it there if it doesn't fit or if it doesn't make sense. Oh, I see that it's a little messed up right here. I didn't see that in the store. Oh, that's just stickers or something on it. Oh, I got to figure that out. Anyway, um, I can also use this for all of my markers and stuff like this on my desk. So, or paint brushes. Either way, I have a use for this. Um, but you know what? When my makeup vanity is clear, because I can be messy. When it's more clear, I feel like I can employ the, you know, the glamour spells. I can, it's all, my makeup vanity is also an altar, by the way. So um, it's definitely a goddess altar. So I also feel better, you know, when I'm in that space. Um, when it's clean, I can kind of really get into the zone and tap into like goddess energy. So Michael's. Because of um, Valentine's Day coming up, I guess, they're doing like all this pink stuff. So I bought a bunch of this particular shade of light pink taper candles. Now, I know I can find these elsewhere, but um, first of all, everything was 40% off and then another 20% off. So I did really well on most of the stuff if it wasn't already on sale. But I like this light shade. This is going to be great for... Um, some spell work again doing more glamour uh self-love uh all that sort of stuff like witchy self-care perfect that's what i'm thinking so that's why i bought so many of those and here is oh my god i'm gonna be doing some um goddess type work so this is a candle okay and I'm already, it's already given like Aphrodite vibes and stuff like this. So it's actually a candle. Michael's, y'all go to Michael's and get this. Um, this is $19.99, regular price. I did not pay regular price. I got 40% off. So boom. Um, but yeah, I, I got this. Um, and I'm definitely going to be doing some work with this candle. Uh, this is perfect for like some goddess work that I'm embodying certain goddess. Aphrodite works very well for this. Um, yeah, <laughs> just, yes. So Michael, so if you're looking for something like that and you wanna do some work, yeah, that'll do it. Speaking of work, um, I'm gonna be doing a spell. I realize I'm gonna have to put this in a kitchen. <laughs> it involves green apples and ginger root. <laughs> I, mean, I thought I put this up, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so when I told you this was a random witchy haul, I meant it. Speaking of random witchy stuff, so now we've moved on to Target. <laughs> so speaking of, um, for the 50 millionth time, pink is in fact my power color. So my goal is to, and when I mean power color, like I feel empowered in pink. I feel the same way in black, by the way, as well. It could go either way. Honestly, any color I put on, I feel like <laughs> if I look good, I feel empowered. But pink does it for me, that particular color. So um, I want the under, like the main sort of color format to be pink, especially in my kitchen. So I'm doing, this is a, this is a process. I mean, I guess I could go out and buy everything all at once, but that's not always a good idea because um, one, that's a lot of money up front. Two, Things like this, you know, you just kind of find it when you're out and about in a $5 spot um, at Target. So this is a cream and sugar set. So I'm going to be setting up my coffee bar when I get a pink coffee maker. It's a whole thing. Um, I know they now sell the pink Keurig. It's in the color pink. Um, it was actually on sale at Target, but 
I, just, I can't really justify doing that. And I think I want to just get a regular coffee maker instead of the Keurig. My Keurig is it's actually pretty recent. I got it in 2021 at the end of the year. So mine is pretty relatively new, but I'm going with the pink theme and this black. So anyway, yeah, so I'm going to have this all set up. This is so adorable. So this is for the creamer. And this is for the sugar. So I'm going to set this up for my uh, coffee bar with a bunch of paint. Um, very witchy aesthetic. Uh, and just from an organizational point of view. Oh, wait. And there's one more thing. I knew it. So this is like a dollar. Not like it was a dollar at Target. And this is a... Um, just like you put your spoon on here. So this is going to be so cute when I set this up for the little coffee bar. And then um, Ulta is in Target if you had that in your Target. So I went over there and I got some Fenty Beauty uh, glass balm. When I'm out and about, um, like twice a week, I do like a different type of work. And um, then like YouTube or writing or anything like that. And I'm definitely like a lip gloss girly because I usually have like, I also have like multiple drinks in my car when I'm out for hours. So I have coffee and I have my water and um, I have another cup that I got. So I'm probably going to have like something else going on in there, like something sweet. I'm a multiple drink person. Like I like to have access to all these drinks at one time. Anyway, and yes, I <laughs> have to go to the bathroom <laughs> anyway, but um, I plan on using, this is the Riri color. I love this. So it's um, basically gloss. And um, I add, I enchant, I enchant almost everything that I wear. Like if you see me with something, it's, there's some extra meaning behind it almost always. But specifically with makeup, um, I'm going to be doing some fun stuff with this one. Um, I like, think about, well, all right, I'm going to go on a tangent here. Think about like Rihanna, the type of, um, even though I know she stepped down, but this was, you know, Fenty, it's her name. So I think of the person and her personality and she's, you know, that she comes across obviously very confident, you know, savage, you know, um, you know, sexy, all that sort of stuff, but like, don't mess with her either. I love that. So isn't that the perfect kind of vibe you want to have? Um, like don't cross her, mess with her, like don't, you know. <laughs> she's not that person. So I'm thinking this particular, like I'll kind of enchant it with that type of energy and I'll write something for it and say that charm. Then uh, they have these cute, I thought they were cute labels um, for like cleaning products. Um, so if you make your own or if I want to pour existing stuff into bottles, which again, I'm looking at changing things to pink or pink tenant. So I'm going to be looking, but these are like just simple black labels. Target, these are a dollar by the way. Let me show you what they look like. So like enchanted items as well. I'm trying to do this without whooping. There we go. So here we go. So like hand soap, dish soap. It's just, they're simple all purpose cleaner, window cleaner, vinegar, wood cleaner, bathroom cleaner, air freshener, kitchen degreaser, sanitizer spray. And then these are blank ones for you to, you know, use them accordingly how you want. So, yeah, got some of these. And they were only a dollar. But it fits a theme. So that was Target. And now, wait, am I skipping? Michaels. Ah. For Michaels right now, I have a Cricut. Um, so they are, these were like really marked down. I forgot how much they were, but they were like, just looked like maybe three or four dollars or something like that. So this is just premium vinyl and like this purplish color. So I have some plans for this particular cover. Again, Michael's all happy planner, planners and accessories, including the stickers for 50% off. So I got some, so this is more for the planning side of things. I got the um, teeny florals and then I got bold and bright and um, the alpha fonts because I always need that. <laughs> um, 
and then I kind of got a little carried away, but I had my coupons for 20% off regular price and 40% off. Plus, I'm a Michaels member, so that has some rewards. I'm telling you all this because, I don't know, I get really excited about stuff, y'all. But anyway, let's get into some of this, the, the Valentine's-inspired stuff. So, these are stickers. These are definitely going to be showing up in my planning. Love. And then I like these um, these block paper pad sheets in this size. This is great for, because I have a whole punch for the Happy Planner boxes. So this is really nice. I love this. Love this. Cannot wait to start using that. And then you're not going to probably see this so well, but this is also, I love this paper. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. So that's Valentine's stuff. Remember, we're at Michael's. And while I was there, I got some washi tape as well. So like your typical Valentine's um, washi. And I love this. I will probably use this year round. I like glittery stuff. So that's cool. Um, I finally picked up when I was at Michael's, these readers. I am fighting for my life trying to read. Like I, I talked about this. I can read so much faster on my Kindle or my iPad for the Kindle app. Uh, because I realized, one, I'm controlling the backlight and the size of the font. But most of the books that I get now, and I <laughs> I like Kindles, I like iPad, like I don't mind reading electronically. It's very convenient. However, I do, I'm an old school person. I kind of like the books. I kind of like having a physical copy of a book. I like being able to annotate. I like highlight, you know, all that sort of stuff. So anyway, I got me some readers <laughs> to help my poor eyes. Now I'm still like, I'm at a 1.25. I tried on like the two point something or other. I almost went blind in the store. So I'm not that bad. It's just, I just, it gets a little too blurry and I tend to read at night. So it's difficult for me. So this cottage, which had to finally level up and get some um, cute readers. Oh my gosh. So tell me this is not everything. So there's a sealing wax kit recollections brand at Michael's and it has, I, I, I love everything about this. So you have like the pink wax and it says love and look at this, um, the, the melt. Uh, anyway, I cannot wait to use this. This is perfect. Oh my God. This is perfect for so many different types of spells where you seal it. Um, you can write a petition. Um, if you're working any sort of attraction spells, if you're working like um, like really actual love spells right now as well. You can write a letter if you want to petition or just write like some words of gratitude and things like that. So a deity you're working with, especially like I plan on using this in combination with the, um, what I'm referring to is my Aphrodite candle. And um, yeah, and like my petition, I can seal it. Y'all, I'm really excited about this. I have some really fun plans for that. Then... Um, again, uh, right now, all this stuff is actually like on sale, but this is like a wallflower, wall decor hanger. So I'm just looking for cute ways and, you know, to beautify certain areas of my home. So this is just one, you know, I just like having like just little stuff, like, um, unexpected stuff, you know, that just pops up, um, in your house. And it's like, oh, it catches your eye. I am someone, if I, you know, especially if your home is like really decorated, and you have like little baubles and stuff like that. Like, I want to see that. Um, I used to be one of those people probably more, mostly because I couldn't buy all the things I wanted at once. I, you know, when I was younger. Um, but I tend to like this, like minimal, a little bit minimalistic type decorating where there was more space. I don't think I'm that person anymore. I know I'm a maximalist. Um, I know I am like, <laughs> I'm looking at my walls. I've been talking about it, but I'm going to change it. Like I, I like a lot of stuff. I like patterns and textures and colors. I want, I love that type of environment. I'm um, at this point in my life and I'm definitely more of a maximus. Like I like a lot of things happening at one time. That way, when your eye catches something, you kind of zone in and there's this little treasure and you see, you know, cute stuff like this. Um, speaking of cute stuff, so I'm going to be doing some more stamping. 
I had stamps before and I kind of just like, I don't know, I feel revived for like decorative stuff, planning, art, creative work and stuff like that. So these are the um, stamps that I got from Michaels. This is the back. It's, it's pink. And um, I got some ink, just some basic colors to start. So obviously pink. <laughs> um, and then black, just basic black. And then there's just like... Uh, one is blue. It's hard to tell in the slate. One is like a dark blue. So just basics to get started. But this is going to be great for like a border. So that was Michael's. And <laughs> TJ Maxx was just stuff for me. <laughs> I got me some she pink sheet sets. Some light pink sheet sets. And um, what else did I get over there? Uh, I got some, oh, some cute nails because I'm a falsies type person with the um, nails and I know how to put them on and make them last. I've had, these are what I'm referring to as my Christmas nails. And my, I mean, I'm going to change them, but my nails have grown um, these out and I have been very active. I like wash my hair, apply this color in my hair with these nails on. Um, I've had these on since before Christmas and they are still hanging on. It is definitely like watch YouTube videos when they tell you like how to prep your nails because people swear uh, press on nails don't stick on. And sometimes I've had that happen too, but y'all, these have stuck, stayed with me. I'm not using any fancy glue, just like the Kiss brand and the tube. Don't get the one with the brush. That... I don't think that works as well, but just the glue where, you know, you squeeze it out, that's the one you want. Anyway, so these are just some pretty red and they're short because I can't be doing all that. I want to so bad, but I'm just, I'm not that girl. I know that now. I'm just not that girl. So that is everything in this witchy random haul where I'm definitely, as I go, you know, I'm looking for ways to add this color into my home more and more. I've just been doing it over time anyway. And um, yeah, those sheets are definitely, they're nice pale pink. And it's going to be my transition um, into probably going more into spring uh, with that color. And um, I already have like a white uh, quilt bedspread which I love because that will is when to me it's winter white so that'll take me through January to February um and I'll just change out the sheets instead of my more wintry sheets um and that's you know how I do that but yeah I am so excited about all the different things that I got um because it's just so many different projects and things that I'm working on and spells and I cannot wait to do these things because I'm excited about everything um, lots of like glamour spells, glamour magic, um, lots of, you know, my cottage decor, witchy cottage decor stuff as well. Um, working with, um, you know, I guess what they call hearth type goddesses, Hestia. I'm going to be setting up an altar soon for her. And, um, a lot of this kind of ties into that as well. But anyway, I don't want to get ahead of myself. But that is pretty much, yeah, that, that's it. Of course, yeah, I'm not skipping anything. That's it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, just know when you are shopping, like, obviously, I didn't go to any sort of, like, metaphysical store or cult shop or anything like that. These are just regular stores. Five below Target, Michaels, and Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, however, some things obviously had nothing to do with being you know, witchcraft or anything like that. But um, mostly everything I have are like supplies and things like that, that I use within my practice. And the cup, do not sleep on colors and setting up a color, you know, um, sort of style for your home. And why do you like think more into like, what do you call it? Color theory? Think more into it. Not just like, oh, pink means love or it means romance or something like that. But what, what does it mean to you? How do you want your environment to look? This is a bigger part of my um, practice as well. Uh, my personal practice is thinking about all those sort of things because it creates a certain energy of vibration in the home. And then 
I also have a house spirit, the spirit of the home. Uh, and um, it sort of helps shape and form that spirit, um, having the different colors in your home, the different energy, uh, the smells in your home, aromatherapy, all that sort of stuff, your smells. Like, so when you put your perfume on and you're going about through the home and your bedroom and stuff like that, like that's holding a certain vibration, a certain type of energy. And eventually um, over time, it's this, it becomes the spirit of your home. So everything is relatively intentional with me when I buy things. Yes, I buy something I love the way it looks. It's like super cute, but it stands out to me because I have already set this intention. And once you set, and I love this because once you set that intention, once it's like, oh, I really am into this sort of stuff. All of a sudden, that's the, those are the things you see. You see things in the colors that you really want and um, that look, you know, it like your eye just catches this stuff. Like you can't help but notice it whenever you walk into a store. You can't help but see it. It's like so obvious. And um, yeah, it just becomes a part of like <laughs> your style aesthetic and you're building it up bit by bit. It's amazing how stuff like that works <laughs> and your eye just catches it. So Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Mika, Leap Taken. Um, I was happy to share my witchy random haul. And uh, go ahead and hit like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you would like to do that. Hit the join button to join Leap Taken membership. Um, and uh, head over to leaptaken.com and check out the services that I offer there as well. All right, thanks again. Bye.